hello everyone welcome back to my video channel in this video i am going to discuss the topic that is differences between ratite and carinate okay which is important for the examination so uh, and also in the previous video we have discussed the, the general characteristics of aves right let us do uh, just a quick recall so that you will uh, connect with the actual uh, topic in general character uh, characteristics have told that the aves are warm blooded animals means they are homeotherms and the body is divided into head neck short tail and uh, the coming to digestive system, digestive system is they have complete digestive system and uh, they have bony endoskeleton he, uh, that means that the bones of the birds are pneumatic means they have hollow bone which with uh, those kind of bones are helpful in flying and coming to uh, the respiratory system here the respirate they respire through lungs and have air sacs around like uh, 9 to 11 means it different uh, depends upon the different kinds of birds okay around the usual again if you have to say some rough numbers usually they have 9 to 11 air sacs and they have well developed sensory uh, uh, sensory organs they have well developed nervous system which consists of cent central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system okay and uh, they are ureotelic animals means this uh, here the nitrogenous waste is uric acid okay, which is a white and a thick paste like okay and uh, excretory system they consist of a pair of kidney and a pair of ureters okay but the urinary bladder is absent okay uh, uh, see you can go back to my video and watch the, i have mentioned almost all these general characteristics of the as now i'm just mentioning the quick um, importance uh, important uh, characteristics those are um, needed uh, for uh, for the examination and you can uh, in if you want in detail just watch that video if you are interested and the next character uh, is coming to reproductive system here the sexes are separate and they show the sexual dimorphism means they are the both the male and female are very um, uh, distinguished and fertilization is internal fertilization and these are oviparous animals means they are egg lying animals and um, the development is direct that means that they don't have larval stage they don't have lower stage okay these are the some of the general characteristics of aves and now as i mentioned before uh, in this video we are going to discuss about the difference between ratite and carinate now let us know what are these ratite and carinate then so here yeah, the birds uh, can be divided into two subclasses okay the those two subclasses are the first one is archaeornithis and the second one is neoornithis okay and again this neo can uh, is divided into three super orders okay in that the first one is ratite which is also called as paleognathae okay that is the first super order and the second one is impenae and the third one is carinate okay the first one ratite which is also called as paleognathae uh, those are a uh, flightless birds for example you can take the example of ostrich emus uh, kiwi and rias these uh, these are the few, few examples for the ratite ratite means just quickly you have to come uh, you have to get in your mind that ratite means flightless birds remember this one key word okay which helps to um, write uh, other characters quickly okay the second one is impenae the impenae these are aquatic birds for example penguin pelican swan ducks are the aquatic birds the third one is carinate here the carinate these are also called as neognate these are a uh, flying birds okay for example pigeon sparrow woodpecker crows these are a uh, uh, carinate for example you can uh, you can uh, the uh, i have displayed the pictures here examples for the ratite you can look at in the picture here this is the picture of the ostrich okay ratite means these are flightless birds okay so example is ostrich and the second you can look at the diagram that is uh, mm, uh, sorry picture that is emus and then the next uh, example for the ratite is a uh, kiwi uh, not a kiwi fruit here it is the kiwi bird okay so you can look at in the diagram very um, very cute uh, one here and the next example is rie okay and then next one is impenae impenae means aquatic birds example for that are penguins okay pelicans here the, i have displayed only one pelican actually uh, which is uh, american uh, white pelican okay so the, uh, this is the picture of the pelican and then you can see the swan here and then duck uh, especially the name of this duck is mallard duck okay the next uh, one is uh, carinate 
the carinate uh, means flying birds okay example for this is uh, woodpecker you can watch, uh, watch it uh, uh, and uh, uh, watch uh, watch it here uh, have a look here you know, woodpecker pigeon uh, and then the next one is peacock and sparrow okay these are some of the example for the carinate now let us move on to the differences here so uh, i have uh, listed out the uh, as many as characters uh, structures uh, means uh, differences of these two um, super orders that is ratite and carinate okay so let us start one by one here uh, the first one the uh, the hamid three column and the first uh, column uh, shows the structures and second and th second is the ratite and third is the carinate okay remember that the first one is i uh, mentioned the super order because uh, even the, the ratite is a super order just but it has another name so for make you to convenient if you pronounce it again and again it will uh, become uh, um, easy it will become fluent in your, uh, and it will stick to your mind so that's why i mentioned it once again here super order paleognathae or ratite and carinate it is comes under neognathae or carinate okay this, this is the super order uh, examples ostrich rias emus and kiwi so the uh, example for carinate is parrots peacock sparrows pigeon swans and ducks are the examples the next uh, the third uh, one is the uh, locomotion locomotion uh, here ratite uh, these are uh, flightless running birds as i mentioned before these are flightless birds okay these are flightless running birds okay and carinate is these are flying birds coming to distribution distribution of the ratite is restricted and uh, restricted discontinuous distribution means restricted means you can see these ratite birds only in particular areas these are not uh, distributed everywhere but in, in in some particular places only we can find these birds okay that's why they are restricted and discontinuous they are not continuously distributed everywhere they are discontinuous okay discontinuous in distribution and coming to carinate these are cosmopolitan in distribution cosmopolitan means worldwide you can see anywhere uh, you can see these birds anywhere okay those kinds of birds will comes under the carinate and the next coming to habitat habitat here ratite are terrestrial and carinates are arboreal means the birds which lives in the trees and the terrestrial means which lives on the land and are aquatic means the birds which are lives on the water these three all types will comes under the carinate okay but in case of ratite those birds which are lives only on the land that is terrestrial coming to size uh, size of the ratite usually is larger sized when compared to the carinate which are smaller in size coming to wings as i mentioned these ratites are uh, flightless uh, birds that's why here in uh, wings are vestigial and sometimes in sometimes uh, those wings will be absent in case of ratite but in case of carinate the wings are very well developed do you know why because these are flying birds so wing, wings are the important organs for the flying okay they have that's why they have uh, wings are very well developed coming to oil gland here the oil gland in case of ratite is absent the oil gland is present in case of carinate and air sacs air sacs uh, or uh, uh, air sacs are nothing but uh, the respiratory organs okay the lungs okay uh, which consist of uh, air sacs okay here in case of uh, ratite the air sacs are poorly developed but in case of carinate they are very well developed and the next uh, one uh, is the the next characteristics what uh, which one uh, that is syrinx syrinx are nothing but the voice box okay voice box in case of uh, uh, ratite is absent in case of carinate is present uh, like you can uh, see in case of ostrich when they are making a sound they are very they are not um, very pleasant okay so very uh, very uh, they are not give any pleasant experience uh, pleasant experience okay so that because uh, here the syrinx is absent okay Uh, and coming to the next one is copulatory organs copulatory organs are nothing but organs which helps in copulation means uh, during uh, during uh, at uh, sexual intercourse means uh, uh, during the copulation these are the organs which are utilized by both male and females not only the males but it is utilized by the both male and females for insemination for example in case of uh, humans like a male uh, uh, being uh, penis is the copulatory organ in case of female uh, vagina is the um, copulatory organs so in case of ratite here the males have a erectile penis and the female possess a clitoris okay but in case of carinate these copulatory organs are absent and next the next one is egg shells in case of ratite the egg shell you can see the, as i mentioned in the general characteristics these are oviparous animals oviparous means they are egg, egg laying so how is the egg shell in case of ratite so the egg shell is very thick and it is hard in case of carinate the egg, egg shell is very thin and it is fragile okay 
and the next uh, the characteristics is uh, is newly hatched young ones here newly hatched young ones uh, in case of ratite are they are precocious born means they are not dependent on the parents means as soon as soon as they uh, born they are capable to eat they ca they are capable to walk mm, they ca they are capable to feed on by themselves they don't depend upon the parents okay those kind uh, kind of uh, born birds are called as precocious born birds so in ratite are the precocious born ones okay in case of carnate they are altricial bonds means they are dependent upon parents for everything like uh, for uh, eating for feeding and for walking and for uh, to learn anything okay so uh, the next characteristic is the hind limbs so here as i mentioned these ratite are uh, flightless running birds so here in case of ratite the hind limbs are very strong and they are modified for running okay but in case of uh, carinate these hind limbs are modified for various activities like uh, uh, such as perching perching means uh, the, the birds you can see and uh, you you may you might observe some of the birds uh, uh, which are sitting on the edges of the twigs okay so they, they don't have any fear they don't fall from there because they have that perching capacity perching ability means they can sit at the edge of something and uh, they don't um, fall out from there okay so that that uh, is actually called as um, that is actually called as perching and they have uh, uh, and they and they uh, the next character is wading wading means they can they have uh, ability to walk on the water you uh, you may observe at uh, the edge of the sea uh, or the river the uh, the pelicans will be walking uh, okay so that uh, is wading and the swimming and the prey capture okay these uh, characteristics uh, will uh, will be possessed by the carinate means hind limbs will be modified like this to do all these characteristics uh, okay then the next one is uh, phygo style so what is uh, phygo style here the phygo style uh, actually this is the uh, the organ um, part of the bird that supports the tail feather actually which is triangular in uh, triangular plate uh, which is formed by the fusion of the caudal vertebrates okay caudal means the tail vertebrates the, uh, the many uh, fused caudal vertebrates uh, which is formed in a triangular form uh, which supports the tail feathers so, so for make you to understand uh, like uh, you can have a look at in the picture here you can observe the phygo style which is from the left side uh, fourth part that is phygo style okay which supports the um, tail feather okay the uh, that is the one let, let us look at what uh, what uh, what is uh, phygo style how it is there in case of ratite and carnate here in case of uh, phygo style in case of uh, um, ratite uh, it is uh, small or it may be absent in case of uh, carnate which is well developed okay the next one is uh, kayakam the kayakam is very uh, what is kayakam here the kayakam is nothing but it is a junction between the small intestine and large intestine so here the kayakam is um, kayakam is very uh, la uh, uh, large in case of ratite and very small in case of carinate the next one is the pectoral uh, muscle okay pectoral muscle is very well developed mm, um, sorry very poorly developed in case of ratite and very well developed in case of carinate and coming to limb bone limb bone is not uh, pneumatic here in case of uh, uh, here in case of uh, carinate sorry in case of uh, ratite uh, here the limb bone is uh, not pneumatic okay uh, uh, in case of carinate the limb bone is uh, pneumatic means they have a hollow uh, bone come next the next one is horny sheath uh, horny sheath beak here the horny sheath beak when you look at the beak of a bird it, if it is divided into several pieces then a, uh, uh, it is a ratite okay if it is undivided then it is a carinate okay coming to uh, the next uh, structure or the character the structure here the feathers the feathers in case of ratite are uniformly arranged on the body and these feathers they do not possess the hooks uh, on the barbules uh, uh, that's why the barbs are free here in case of ratite and in coming to uh, carinate the feathers are arranged in in the form of tracts okay those tracts are called as uh, terile okay and uh, these are uh, those terile are separated by uh, featherless tracts uh, those are called as opteria okay and these feathers possess hooks on the barbules okay they possess the hooks on the hooks on the barbules and these bobs are uh, joined together form a continuous membrane that continuous membrane is called as a vein okay the next uh, uh, the structure or the character is coracoid and scapula 
Yeah, the uh, uh, means the, the the pectoral girdle. Uh, we know that it it meant uh, it composed of humerus, coracoid, and scapula. So here the coracoid and scapula of the rat. How it is uh, here the coracoid and scapula are comparatively uh, small and fused at an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means which is um, greater than ninety degrees. So like that, these coracoid and scapula are uh, fused. Okay, and they are comparatively they are very um, uh, small. Okay, but in case of carinate, these are com uh, the coracoid, uh, the, these coracoid and scapula, these are comparatively very large, and uh, they are not fused, but they meet at an acute angle, means th that is less than uh, 90 degree. Okay, uh, the next one is the sternum, uh, or you can say uh, keel here. Um, see, you can uh, uh, you can look at in the uh, picture here. You can observe the sternum or the keel, which is boat shaped here. Okay, uh, okay, this. Um, uh, sternum and let, let, let us uh, look at this uh, how this uh, sternum or the uh, keel is helping here for the carinate the the sternum is not modified to form a keel okay in case of uh, ratite and in case of carinate the sternum is modified to form a keel okay so which is the one which helps in the flying okay next one is the clavicles the clavicles in case of ratite uh, uh, the clavicles are absent. The first before that, what, look, look at the, what is cla uh, uh, clavicles. The, um, these clavicles are the structure which gives the strength for the thoracic skeleton, and uh, these will withstand the rigorous of the flight. It means why the wings are uh, flopping you know, during the uh, flight? Uh, these will withstand that uh, pressure. Okay, these will give these clavicles will give the strength. Okay, those kinds of clavicles are absent in case of ratite, and, and clavicles are present in case of carinate, and these clavicles uh, are modified. Means the structure is um, the clavicles of the both the sides are joined uh, with the interclavicle to form a V-shaped furcula. Okay, so I have displayed in the picture. You can observe here these uh, the, like black color V-shaped structure here that is called as furcula. Means the, that the 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 name it is called as wishbone. The furcula is called as uh, wishbone. Uh, okay <coughs> sorry excuse me okay uh, this uh, furcula okay uh, uh, they clever form a v-shaped furcula okay these are the some of the uh, structures uh, uh, and uh, these structures makes the difference between ratite and carinite okay this this question may ask for the long question okay prepare well for the examination and i hope you learn something from this uh, learn something from this video uh, i'm hoping that you uh, you got some help from this video and if you like this video please do uh, subscribe and uh, share this video mm, thank you everyone